for the people that don't know, John Cena and Nikki Bella have broken up. They have called off the wedding. There are statements online from Nikki Bella, statements online from John Cena. You know, the overall consensus of what people are saying is that he got cold feet as it got closer to the wedding. I think they were supposed to get married May 6th uh, overseas. And uh, they split up. Mexico, actually. Yeah, Mexico. Mm -hmm. So uh, your thoughts on their split? Because I know you were a little bit outspoken online about it. (laughs) Well, it was was mostly for less. Well, I feel, you know, it was very Hollywoodish for something that was really supposed to be wrestling based. A lot of couples meet in the world of wrestling. Miz and Maurice have a very successful relationship. Miz plays a Hollywood character, but it's a gimmick. I don't think Mike Mizanin lives that way. I think he's got a solid marriage and a solid foundation, now a solid family family foundation i never thought john i thought john cena almost was forced in a way to do the proposal last year by kevin dunn and the powers that be it was a wrestlemania moment but uh you know some people would find it really in bad taste if you really had no intent you shouldn't have proposed and i and i know dt was a year ago a lot of things could change in a year but he was with the girl for a long time it always seemed like she was being let on you know always the bridesmaid never the bride she finally had her shot and i just think it was a a bullshit mo- it, it wasn't a legit moment now that i think about it at wrestlemania uh, I, I just, I don't know. I find that to be a lot of Hollywood phon- phoniness about the couple. Um, you know, I like Nikki Bella, Bella well enough. I'm not a John Cena fan. I uh, haven't been since 2003. Uh, the way people feel about Roman Reigns is the way I feel about John Cena, quite honestly. Uh, you know, but it doesn't take away from his accolades. He's Mount Rushmore type of uh, WWE superstar who's top 10 of all time. Absolutely. Draw wise merge. I get it. He's a star. I don't have to like him, though. But I just I didn't like them as a couple. I, I didn't think I, I just I, there was something not right there. But in the in the terms of their personal lives and it's, you know, really, how does it affect us? But just from a perspective of what did I think about it, I, I thought it came off very phony. And uh, now that WrestleMania moment that, you know, Nikki and John have to see for the rest of their lives, you know, that's never going to go away. It's uh, and, and, you know, DT today, all the trolls were out bothering the both of them online. And I don't do stuff like that. I just posted something on my page. I'm not going to go to one of their pages like an idiot and post something stupid. Um, it was mostly for a ha ha. I wasn't trying to be a vicious DT, um, you know, and uh, but no surprise. But maybe a little bit of a surprise because I, I really wanted to think that, that that WrestleMania moment was legit and not, uh, you know, just something staged for uh, just a pop. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But uh, Nikki Bella will be fine. John Cena will be fine. Uh, him getting cold feet doesn't surprise me. But I wonder, DT, and you, you can't say you know for a fact or you don't know. Will Nikki be, Bella be seen in the eyes of the of the top brass, the people, the decision makers, as a important female superstar anymore? Will her role get diminished because she is not with John Cena anymore? Uh, you know, DT. Sometimes this does affect pushes and and, and statuses in the company. That's what I'm curious about down the road. If Nikki's still going to be a competitor here, where does she go from here? And is she going to be seen in the eyes of the company as still a top female superstar? Okay, all right. My take on it is this. Um, I took the high road yesterday. I didn't pussy out in any way, shape, or form. I mean, everybody that follows me a long time knows I am not a fan of Nikki Bella. Um, I understand why girls look up to her, but, you know, I think what people don't really understand is that this is, like you said, Hollywood people. All right, you look at Brie Bella and her relationship with John, with uh, Daniel Bryan, and it doesn't feel the same way as Nikki Bella towards Cena. Right. I know, you know, you talked about how Cena has a set of rules and this is and that, and I know that's that's odd, but how I look at it is that you know you have this store that the Bell is set up, and right. it's not about empowering women and this is and that. It's basically to make money. That's really what it is. I mean, if they want to use the topic of empowering women, that's fine. All right. But it's all about making money. And their relationship, although they are a public couple, I know deep down inside at the end of the day, they cry or she cries like we cry or women cry. All right. There are guys out there that get cold feet. What blows me away about social media the last 24 hours is that for the last bunch of years, 
I saw a lot of people without naming names. I saw a lot of people talking about how this relationship, it, it it's just odd. And I, I don't know if they really are going to, you know, get married. And, this and, that. and everybody was very iffy about that relationship. And now right. they break up and people are shocked. People calling him a dirtbag. People calling him this. I mean, what fucking rock have you been under for the last bunch of years? And you see how he has talked about how he doesn't want to, you know, really be in a commitment. He doesn't want to get married again. He doesn't want to go through things like that. So we don't know if Nikki pressured him a little bit. We don't know if the world pressured them a little bit, you know, and you have everybody looking at you and talking about you and paying attention to you. Sometimes you feel a little pressured to go a certain way. And all I'm saying is the reason why I took the high road is because, you know, yes, they're public people. Yes. It's about business in many ways, but it's still a relationship. And I'd rather see him get cold feet and not get married, then for him to say, you know what, I did this on TV, I loved the girl, I promised, I said I'd make a commitment, I'm going to you know, really, really work at it, it's that, when deep, deep down inside, his heart is really not into you know, getting married. And you force it, and you force it, and force it, and then you end up having the ultimate, you know, the, the, the ultimate... Um, resolution i mean the ultimate decision which is the outcome what we all thought all along and he probably felt deep deep but down inside he loves her he wants to be with her but he doesn't want to get married he doesn't want to have a family i think daniel bryan and brie bella having his great marriage and having a kid now probably led a little pressure as well because nikki wants what brie wants even though that would right. never be said publicly uh -huh. so you know they split up you know, it's a shame. I don't know where this leaves Nikki Bella as far as her future in WWE. I mean, as of right now, she's really not wrestling because of the neck issues. She's got the store. Right. So maybe it wasn't in the cards. They still have total divas. They still have total Bellas. Don't know how much of this will end up on a total Bellas episode. Right. But I just, you know, it's it's a relationship. People break up. You know, it's. I just was very taken back by the people who acted so goddamn shocked about it but for the last couple of years acted like god oh, it's not gonna work out it's not gonna work out it's not gonna work what the fuck are you shocked about well dt i think also you know unlike you know some people are comparing it to macho man elizabeth macho man elizabeth and, and you know the story dt were in on doing this for the best of the the summer slam thing they were in on that that like in other words I, you know, it the, was it was it was business i don't know business. who whoever said that seriously and i hope it's not podcast because people think i'm always taking shots at podcast i mean but if it was podcast that said that they really need to reevaluate the head and I, and i hope it's not people that we're friends with either the only reason why i say that is because macho man and john cena are two totally different personalities no, no, two totally, totally different the, humans right Right, 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 right. You know, right. it's just it's it's a relationship. You can't. No, they wanted to see them be a couple. No, I'm saying the f people wanted to see it be a reality like that. At least Macho Man and Elizabeth were married. They were actually divorced when they were getting the remarried thing at uh, SummerSlam. They got back together, but they were doing it in a business aspect. But Elizabeth has kind of already moved on from Randy. I mean, if you watch Randy Savages and you listen to R Lanny Poffo's shoot interviews, you get more of the gist of it. But I think it was just because they uh, people wanted to believe. This wasn't a WrestleMania moment, quote unquote. This was a real people moment that happened at WrestleMania. Cena wasn't forced into doing it, that it was legit. Now people are just like, oh, this was bullshit. They felt like they invested their time, DT. That's the their problem. Yeah. That's their problem. I, I, I ignore it. the yeah. Bellas. I, I ignore them. So yeah. this was a non-issue for me yesterday. That's why it was so easy to take the high road. People comparing a couple from the 80s to a couple that now and the relationships that were totally, totally different with, with Macho Man being possessive, Miss Elizabeth. Elizabeth acts, acted nothing like Nikki Bella. This oh, is no. just this is just wacky people out there. Oh, it's just like Macho Man. How? How? There is nothing. That's like me comparing my relationship with yours or with Phil in the chat room or someone else in the chat. We don't know each other. Well, it's I, just, I do. I do love Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like people out there trying to compare with other relationships. Just shut up. Seriously, just shut yeah, up. It's just, but, 
Yeah, but don't you think, DT, like, do you think people think, for some reason, you know, wrestling fans, they have this opinion of, of everything, and you know it's a strong opinion. Uh, when they're against something, when they're for something, they feel like, like, right, like they're mad that they wasted their emotional investment their or problem. that they believed in them. Right. What you're saying is right. They're a real-life couple, and people break up. This isn't a wrestling work. It's not an angle that you're disappointed in. You know, it's not like a Roman Reigns thing. Yeah. This is real life, and they – and listen, and Nikki has to save face. She she couldn't go back to just being John Cena's girlfriend after going through all that. They can't just go back to going out. Do you agree with that? Well, no, they could have just said that there's, you know, they're not ready yet. And they've thought, you know, because of the careers and everything that's going on, the right. hectic schedules that they postponed it. They could have simply said, look, we're postponing the wedding because the schedules are very hectic right now. We want to get all this out of the right, way and right. then we'll do it. that plain and simple. And that happens all the time in real life with real relationships. I sure. think the majority of the people out there that are saying this or just people, and this is to, to defend some people out there. The right. young people who aren't 40 years old, who aren't right. married, who aren't close to being married, who don't understand all the commitments and everything involved with being married. You can't just take a meme or whatever those fucks are called right. and show the clip of John Cena when he was sitting at the crowd at WrestleMania because somebody writes relationship, kids, married, and then they show Cena run into the back like, hey, I don't want none of this. You know, it's it's, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny, but you know, this pretty much shows what your relationship is like. Not you. I'm saying people right. out there. You know, there's a lot of people out there that you know are really, really critical about this, and their only relationship right now is the hand, lotion, and tissues. So you know, well, it, there, could, there could be a doll under the bed. It could be a doll under the bed. But uh, I just, you know, I'm like, if anybody feels cheated, these are two human beings out there. And if they, if she got burned, well, whose fault is that? Cena ba basically gave the warning sign 50,000 times over the last bunch of years. I don't know if I really want to get married. I don't know if I really want to commit me again. I don't know look at the Make-A-Wish. I mean, well, you know, if I really want to be cruel about it, I could say, look, he wants to help every kid in the world except for his own. That's a good you, point. You know but what I, I mean? think, but, but, but DT, he did, like I said, you go to that WrestleMania moment, he talks about being selfish and now he's more open. And when she's wheeling her into the hospital, he tells this big story. People are wondering, is that wrestling talk or was that a real moment? It's pressure. Okay.